Hello, it's another episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. I am your host, Carlin, as always. Uh, today we're going to be trying a beer I've never had before. I've never had anything from this brewery. Uh, it's from South Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina, to be exact. Didn't know there was a Columbia, South Carolina, but hey, now we all do. Um, so this one is an IPA, as people might be able to guess. Love IPAs. Uh, this is called Sacred Heart. It's by a brewery called Conquest Brewing Company. And this IPA is 7.2% alcohol by volume. So we're going to give it a shot. There you go. Oh, Sacred Heart. It's a heart wrapped in like, is it like thorns or some crap? Yeah, it's like a flaming heart wrapped in thorns. Oh, so, I mean, whatever. I don't think it's all that special. Um, it is important to note there is a bottle date on this. Handwritten, by the way, which... However you can do it, as long as you're putting bottle date. Uh-oh, it's starting to bubble up a little bit. Um, so it's August of 2014. So not the freshest at this point, but I mean, whatever. We'll give it a shot because sometimes IPAs, they, they do fine. Um, that if anyone has not watched it, go back and watch my episode for um, the last one I did for Deschutes. Uh, it was their Chasing Freshies um, Fresh Hop IPA with Mosaic. Uh, as that warmed up, it got significantly more citrusy and was very, very nice. Which leads me to something that I'm just thinking about at some point, just drinking all my beers room temperature. I don't know. We'll see. So this one, a lot of head, so it's going to be pretty damn carbonated. Um, very orangish, very hazy. I can't see through it at all. Can you see through it? I can't. Like a brownish orange dark coloration to it. Um, hmm. Pretty malty, but there's some nice hops to kind of back that up. It's got this nice kind of earthiness, a little bit of like a honeysuckle note on the um, on the nose. Honeysuckle. Some obviously some citrus. There's always you know some citrus in IPAs. Well, not always. There are really piney IPAs out there which I do get a little bit of pine in this as well. But there's some nice citrus, but it's like much more like deep citrus, like kind of like a dehydrated orange, you know, how to like really make it more sugary and like really concentrate the, um, the juice. So less light, you know, this, this smells like it's going to be kind of like a heavier type IPA. Kind of bready. Um, in the flavor. Earthy, get a bit of that pininess. I get some of that kind of honeysuckle type flavor to it, which I was getting in the nose. Um, very earthy. Tastes a tad bit like dirt, gonna be honest. <laughs> Just a tad bit like dirt. But it's not terrible. Uh, it's not great though. I'm wondering how much of this is the age and how much is actually just the beer, but... Mm. I probably let this warm up a lot more, but I might end up dumping this beer. <laughs> um, Got to be honest with you on that. We'll see where it ends up for me, but um, not the best. Uh, very, very earthy, piney. Yeah. It, but even the pine isn't all that like pronounced to be like, oh, this is a nice piney note. It's just kind of like it's malty and it's like honeysuckle and dirt kind of very earthy malty. So, um, not huge on this as it's tasting right now. Wouldn't recommend the Sacred Heart IPA. Oh, I'm getting some heat, like a, a tickle of heat in my throat from this too. It's only 7.2% alcohol. It's kind of weird. Shouldn't be doing that. So, um, a lot of strikes against this one. Wouldn't recommend it. Don't try it. I pretty much guarantee that even when it warms up, it's not going to be that much better. Anyway, thank you so much for checking this episode out and go get yourself a beer. One better than this.